Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the high-speed rail systems here in Southeast Asia and whether or not there's any impact on Thai tourism. Thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Patia Mail, that's patiamail.com. Article is titled, Chinese tourists to Thailand no longer dependent on air travel. Quoting directly, the opening of the China-Laos bullet train in December 2021 has transformed the future of regional vacations, according to travel specialists. The train runs several times daily from the Chinese border to Wenchen, capital of Laos, which in turn is close to the Thailand, to the Thailand, I think they mean the Thailand border, but to the Thailand, with plentiful rail and road connections. The top rail speed is 160 km an hour with a distance of 422 km. So, yeah, this high-speed rail system, uh, Thailand apparently is working on their own sort of leg of this, and we've done some videos on that in the past. But yeah, China has completed that rail system in Laos, and now you know it's it seems like it's a pr pretty fast trek for most to get from the Chinese border to Wenchen, which sits right pretty close to the Lao border. I've been to Wenchen. It's it's not a major distance. It's like you kind of almost, I think as I recall, you can almost get in a tuk-tuk and drive into town. So the, uh, from the border. So the, yeah, yeah, I mean, and obviously when you have that kind of major fundamental change in terms of transportation infrastructure, that's going to have an impact on the demography of people moving in and out of a given country, in this case, Thailand. So yeah, it doesn't shock me at all that we're probably going to see more Chinese tourists and just more folks popping over the border of Chinese, you know, Chinese origin, just because it's so much quicker to get down there from southern China than it once was.